Hi, welcome to another video. This is uh, Mr. Chow from uh, EnglishTuition.org. Uh, in today's video, we will learn uh, how to do well in uh, paper one. Now, this video is for the secondary level. And I decided to do this video because uh, some of my students uh, were just telling me they are about to take their uh, WA1, which is the common test one, uh, either next week or the week after. So I hope this video comes to you in a timely manner. So uh, just in case if you are having paper one as your test, uh, I hope some of the tips in this video uh, can help you out. So there are three components in paper one. Uh, the very first component is of course the editing. Now the editing, as you know, is a 10 marks exercise. So the first tip I have is to make sure that you do all your checks properly, right? Obviously, right? So you're supposed to do your checks, but uh, this goes without saying. But the reason why I decided to remind you guys to do your checks properly because I do realize that sometimes students are just very careless and they're not very systematic about uh, their checks. So sometimes they catch the mistakes and sometimes they don't catch the mistakes, right? So this result in very inconsistent results. Uh, and just bear in mind that the editing exercise is uh, one of the components. And in fact, it's the only component that you can score full marks for the English paper, right? So take the editing exercise seriously. Make sure that you do all your checks uh, consistently systematically and try not to miss out any of uh, the word right so when i do the practice with my students we actually go word by word and we're very meticulous about the checks right so uh, before the test make sure you revise your grammar rules uh, i don't know how you're going to do it uh, do you have notes do you have reference books so uh, one good way to make sure that you're always up to date with the grammar rules is to always have a good set of grammar reference books that you can refer to at all times, right? So having a set of good grammar reference books, you can refer to it in SAC 1, SAC 2, SAC 3, all the way to SAC 4, even after SAC 4, right? And you know some of you may be going to uh, JC to take your general paper, and you can always go back if you have forgotten some of the grammar rules, some of the prepositions, some of the connectors, right? And uh, in order to improve on your grammar, right? Over time, you realize that you're going to need uh, less and less time to refer to the same books uh, because we are getting very familiar with your grammar rules and you tend to forget less and less right so that's how you improve so always practice your editing right and then within the editing exercise right if you are going to make mistakes check for grammar rules and try to understand why you have made those mistakes were you careless right or was it something that you have forgotten right uh, you know it could be some of the grammar rules and you were a bit rusty and that's why you made those mistakes and that's give you a good reason to maybe go back you know to your notes to your reference books and revisit some of the grammar rules again before you go sit for the test all right and the next component that uh, we're going to talk about in this video is the situational writing right situational writing is an interesting exercise because the weightage here is 30 marks right which is you know, the same weightage as your essay, right? So some students tend to treat this as your essay, which is a mistake, okay? So first of all, before you even start exercise, read the question carefully and try to understand what is the situation, right? It is a formal, informal kind of situation. What is happening within the question, all right? Look out for all the information. And how is your uh, situation awareness? So this is a good test, right? Because some students are like, you know they don't understand the situation at all they don't know what is happening within the question so as a result how do you adjust your writing style in order to fit the situation right poor situation awareness will not help you score well for the situational writing so don't think that you can just memorize some answer and go there and regurgitate the answer and expect to do well right because if the situation changes and you're unable to adjust adapt your writing style to the situation you are not going to do well. So respond to the situation accordingly, right? That means uh, your writing actually have to be adaptive. Don't spend too much time here as you still have to work on your essay. Like I said, this is a very common mistake that students make. They treat the situation writing as an essay, right? This is not an essay. Although you are allowed to add original details of your own that may be helpful, but don't overdo it. Right, and the reason is because if you overdo it 
and if marks are not awarded for those extra words or content that you have written, which happens quite often, uh, then we have invested a lot of time into something that you know, does not translate to marks. Okay, uh, so make sure you answer all the task requirements properly. Now I have students, whenever they go through the bullet points, which are the task requirements, some of them, they don't understand, so they just skip. Okay, uh, that is not good, right? So uh, the task fulfillment is upon 10 marks. So if you're going to skip one or two very important task fulfillment, you are not going to do well. You might score 4 upon 10, 5 upon 10, right? And then the rest of the marks are awarded based on your language, which is upon 20 marks. So how do you score for your situational writing language? 20 marks is, you know, uh, is substantial, right? That's a lot of marks, right? So first of all, try not to copy word for word from the question, right? A lot of students tend to do that. And uh, I think they developed this habit while they were in primary six, situational writing, right? They just copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, right? So at the very least, if you're at a secondary level, try to paraphrase and replace these words with your own words, right? So uh, the other way that you can make sure that you score higher for your language is to try to choose better words, right? And vary your sentence structures. That's why you need to go back to your grammar and revise your connectors, your sentence structures. What are some of the, the sentence structures that you can use within the situation writing? And do you write in appropriate uh, register as well as the appropriate tone right is it warm and welcoming right is it confident and persuasive right so uh, this will allow you to demonstrate your command of language and uh, if you're able to do all that very well you're likely to score well for the language component okay and the last section that i want to talk about here is essay writing now, editing time allocation about 10 15 minutes, situ situation writing about 35 to 40 minutes. So, try to leave uh, at least about between 50 to 60 minutes, preferably 60 minutes for the essay writing. This is because, unlike situation writing, you may have to spend a bit more time planning for your content, right? And I see students, some students just write straight away, they don't plan at all, right? And that is not very wise because sometimes when you write 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 and they find that you know they run out of points to write about okay and it's too late to start but it happens because they do not have a plan in the first place right you need to spend a little bit of time to analyze the questions and do a bit of planning before you start right and at the same time don't spend too much time on planning right you spend half an hour on planning and then you have no time to write the content that's also not good Right, so spend about 10 maximum 15 minutes of your time to plan to analyze the question and of course to plan for your essay before you start writing. All right, so ask yourself what type of essay do you specialize in? Right, there are different types of essay questions, right, uh, for the secondary level. You have personal recounts, you have discursive, you have descriptive writing, you also have argumentative essays, right? Uh, which type of essays? Do you think right you tend to do better in okay you need to understand that for yourself so have your tutor and your teachers vet through your practice essays to understand more about your own style of writing right so hopefully before the test uh, you have the opportunity opportunity to talk to your tutors or your teachers and then just hand in the essays uh, and uh, hopefully they give you some valuable feedback uh, so the main objective for you doing that is to understand your own style, right? So what type of essay questions are most suited for you? Okay, good language is not enough, uh, meaning if you have a, a good range of vocabulary, okay, very good grammar, very good grammar, right? But that does not guarantee you that you're going to do well for essay writing, right? Because besides good grammar, you also need good writing skills okay so meaning for example if you're going to write personal recount right it may be in perfect grammar no spelling mistakes punctuation everything is perfect okay um maybe even good choice of words but your storytelling is all over the place right and uh, the ideas are confusing right uh 
you choose the wrong timing you know to write about uh, the most interesting stuff right which is supposed to be you know uh, somewhere in the middle of the story which is your climax but you didn't right so all these elements of the essay are part of your writing skills so in order to score well for the essay you need to practice again and again uh, make sure that you improve your language and at the same time improve your writing skills all right and you combine the two together that's how you score well for essay writing okay so with that we have come to the end of the video right hopefully this video contains some tips and reminders that are useful to you to help you revise for your upcoming common test right so if you are seriously considering to sign up for lessons please visit EnglishTuition.org for more details and if you like this video do remember to leave a like and a subscribe i will see you soon in the next video bye